Number one, I love you. And number two, I want to repent to everybody, the audience on TV, the one on uh, Facebook, on, on, on. This was a born in fear and an ungodly nation and transferred to us. So, so everybody, I said, listen up, because you might not be back when I get done. Uh, let me help everybody. I have five denominations in my area, five, headquarters. It seems like somewhere in that five denomination, five college area, I would have heard somebody talking about this thing being led by fear. I didn't hear one person. I know everybody. Everybody knows what I'm, 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 I'm like I said. You might leave. I'm, I'm done. But, um, I know everybody. There ain't nobody in this area that don't know me. There is nobody in this area that doesn't know River of Life. Nobody. Why? Because we've done some stuff ain't nobody done. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I have one, one uh, forgiveness I want. I, this thing is fear-based. Go over here. This thing is fear-based. It came out of an ungodly nation as fear. It crossed the continent as fear. Can you hear me? Uh, go to 2 Timothy 1, 6, 1, 7. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Now, this is not me. This is God <laughs> preaching. I'm not preaching Alan Crowder. Thank God I'm here. I'm preaching Jesus Christ through Paul. What does it say? So now if fear is leading something, come on. God didn't do it, and God's not getting you sick to do it. God has written 1 Peter 2.24, I bore your what? Sickness and disease in my body. And by his stripes we were made whole. Well, I've been sick. Listen, man. I went down, I've been sick, you've been sick, everybody's been sick. There is a thief. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So what do you do? You turn to what? The truth, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ is the way, the, the truth, truth, and, and the, the life. life. Am I supposed to be scared? You, you answer that question yourself. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be scared of coronavirus? I don't know. Should I wear a mask? Man, I don't care if you wear three masks. Just don't come up to me and blister me because I ain't. Don't get mad at me because I don't wear no gloves. You, you can wear all the gloves you want. You have to do what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to do. Be led by the? Spirit. Be led by the Spirit of God. He's not giving you a what? Spirit of, of fear, but of power and of love. What they word power mind. mean? Dunamis. Dunamis, miracle, miracle working, working, God kind, God quality. Now, either you got it or you don't. I have it. If you got it, you'll stand up just like me. You might, you might see this thing coming. You might hear it coming. You'll stand up like me. You'll point the finger at it. And you'll say what Terry said all the time. Not in my household. Not in my house. Not in my house. I'm under the blood. I abide in the sh in the strong tower, the strong tower. I'm sheltered. Now, I might be uh, a little bit off here, but I don't, I don't care. Satan had one reason, one thing. Satan had one thing on his mind. Get into your wallet. Hmm. Satan had one thing on his mind. To get to your wallet. To get your money. 
So the first thing he does is what? Shuts he wants house. you to be unemployed mm -hmm. so you can what? Collect unemployment and the government money. Man, we're loaded. I see none of it in tithe. So it's not coming to the church. Yet God, Malachi, Malachi 3 10, bring all the. Why? Because I won't be rich, man. No. I got four cars and a, and a buggy. <laughs> You're so silly. Let me help everybody, including the camera. I'm already rich. That's it. Yep. If you can't put, put the Philippians 4 19 up there. If you can't believe, supply is anointing. And then during the time and frame, time frame of the 70s, 80s, and 90s, we stood on this. My God shall what? Supply all my needs. Well, what is your need? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's saying, I will, I will, the God of heaven and earth, I yes. will what? Supply all of your what? Need. Well, get that straight. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's going to supply your need. Not the devil, not the society, not government. Nope. Nobody will but God. He That's loves right. us. That's right. Who am I preaching to? I hope I'm preaching to the world. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you something. This is crazy. Let me try that word one more time. This is crazy. To submit to what? A spirit of fear? No. Nope. And somebody said, well, you know, you need to use wisdom. I, phew, wisdom. Jesus has been made unto us what? Wisdom. So who, who's born again? I am. He's been made unto you. No, he ain't going to let you drift and die. He loves you, man. That's right. He loves you. Now, if, if you love somebody, would you give your life for them? If I loved them, what? Would you give your life for them? Yes, I would. I got one scripture. Jay, would you read this? I will. I I really. Uh, this is uh, Second Timothy. Out of the Passion Bible. Yeah, it's right. I got it all yellow. Listen to this. If you don't listen to nothing else, listen to this. Um, now let's get this straight. The tithe is not for me to have a salary. It's uh, verses 6 through 8. Read it. I'm writing to encourage you to fan into a flame. Rekindle the fire of the spiritual gift God imparted to you. Now, wait, when, let me, let me, right here, let me say, wake up! When I laid my Body of Christ, me. wake up! This is crazy! <laughs> no! No! A thousand times no! That's the gospel. Go ahead. <laughs> my husband. You don't really come back. You ain't got to come back. You ain't got to give a dime here. My husband is. My correct. God will take care of every need I have. For God will never give you the spirit of fear. Never. But the Holy Spirit. Say it, say it again. God will never give you the spirit of fear. Never. Say never. Never. Three times. Say never. 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 No, I said everybody. Never. 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 But the you don't have to get you fear to get you waked up. God woke you up through Jesus Christ. Go ahead. That's right. But the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. So never be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor be embarrassed over my imprisonment, but overcome every evil by the revelation of the power of God. The revelation now, of the power of God. Well, where am I going? Where am I going to get that revelation of the power of God? In the Word. Matthew six six. Mm -hmm. You come to God and humble yourself. Yeah. I said humble yourself. What does that mean? Enter into His rest, not yours. His. R E S C rest. What does that mean? Relax. Everything is okay. <laughs> Relax. 
I got people all the time, well, I'm, I'm just concerned about me getting this. Stop it. Jesus Christ bore your sin, your sickness, and your disease in his body. Well, where is that? He left it in hell. That's right. Go ahead, Terry, read that again. I know it's... Which one? The, the one I just gave you. Oh, oh, it's key. It. It's key. Second no, Timothy 1. Hang on. Because 8 is, is critical. Yeah, it's 6 through 8. Put 2 Timothy 1, 8 up there. About the now testimony. watch what's going to happen. It says, be not therefore ashamed of the testimony See, of See, what's going to happen is you're going to what? Have a testimony. Bear shame. When you don't see God do what God says, don't, don't look at God. <laughs> look at you, baby. God always does what he says. God does everything he says. He gave you a way to be multi, multi rich. Mm -hmm. He told you to tithe, man. We, we, we can't figure that thing out for nothing. Man, maybe we should tithe when we have it. Maybe we should tithe when we don't. The time to tithe is when you don't have it. Mm. So it can what? Open the windows of heaven and pour you out of what? A blessing. blessing Empowerment That you don't have room enough. Notice what he's saying. You can't think enough. To get room up. It's not in you. Go ahead, Terry. But you therefore, be thou therefore, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Can I, can I stop you right there? Ashamed. How many here are born again? He bore my shame. Are you ashamed of it? No. How many here got more than you ever had? Are you ashamed of it? No. Are you ashamed to mention the name of Jesus? No. Well, now, I was, I, was, I was almost like that. Stop it. That's the devil. Satan started this thing through fear, and he wants to end it through you. Me? No. Jesus Christ ended it through me. That's right. Get, read that for me one more time. Be not you. Don't be. Therefore, ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be a partaker, a partner of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of now, God. Okay, let me, let me help that by. I got them staying away in droves. <laughs> Why? I don't care about the affliction. Why? Heaven, my home. This is an affliction. I don't care. Do you have to live it? Man, if I could tell you what I lived with the last 40 years. But you know, the passion says it so much better. He said, but overcome every evil. Overcome. Because he's, we've been made overcomers by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony. So overcome every evil by the revelation of the power of God. The power of God. We've been given power over all the works now, of the enemy. Now, the question is, if you've been given power, did you receive the power? Are you using it? Are you using it? You use it by the words of your mouth. I mean, uh, when I heard the coronavirus thing, I thought, okay, here we go. So sure enough, one week leads to another week. Another week leads to another week. Another week leads to another week. And the first thing Satan was after, you're gathering. He didn't care nothing about you not gathering. He already had the world convinced on gather. So here comes the law. Don't gather. Well, you can submit for a while. That was wisdom. That was wisdom. Go ahead. That was wisdom for a while. Yeah, for a while. I got a new word for everybody, and it's going that, on that uh, set. It's over. Put up there Hebrews 10, 25. Now, what's your confession? It's over. Move forward. Well, I'm sure not going to give you no money. I do not care. I'm loaded. Why? Because I don't concentrate on money. I concentrate on God. 
Would you help me? I'm helping you now. Some people are listening and some people ain't. Now, whether you know or not, I know when you're listening. Why would you know that? Because God shows me. But I've learned over the years, keep your mouth shut. Quit telling everybody this, that, or another. I got, I want to tell the leadership right now. Leadership, if you got to quit, quit. But tell God. I resign, I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> Fine. But find yourself a storehouse first. Somebody that what? Preaches the word. Can we read this scripture? Start Go back ahead. up at 22. Okay. Party, please. Hebrews 10, 22. He says, let us draw near. That's, that to me says pursue God. Pursue him with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our intense, earnest expectation without wavering, for he is faithful that promised and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. No, don't say, man, I don't know that church. Man, he preaches the word, and you know how that can mess you up. I pray first. And then what I do? I meditate. Then what I do? I pray for you. <laughs> you know, the, the one thing that Satan set out to do, he's done. He's got it done so far. All, all the body of Christ got to do is rise up yeah. and say no. He got you to what? Not you, but he got other people not to go to church. Because, <laughs> I mean, man, the first thing came down, don't get together. Let me try again. Don't get together. You know, if we look at Jesus laid hands on a leper. Yeah. He wasn't afraid of leprosy. Was now, he? Tell you, let me say something right there. You might have to go up in that, but stay in God. <laughs> go ahead. You know, it's just it's just a time to see. I think it's it is a it's been a real awakening for all of us. I think that, number one, it caught everybody off guard. And then, you know, the news media was feeding us with fear, 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 fear. And I think that our government did the very best that they knew they to do. They did the best they could. They warned their what? People. Yeah. But the but body the of Christ. warning wasn't good enough. Go ahead. But the body of Christ has a rise up in faith. And the first it's thing you... Let me tell you, this is the beginning of sorrows. Who did Who's going to be sorry? The world. Who did God call to rule and reign on this earth? Who? The church. the church. He called the church to rule and reign on this earth. What am, what? I, preaching right? what am I preaching right now? Good news. Yes. It's what we allow and what we refuse to allow. And how do we do that? In the spirit, by prayer. And let me tell you something. I got everybody and their brother judging me. I'll be all right. They judge what I say. They judge what I don't say. <laughs> I've been told I should have said that. I shouldn't have said this. I've been told it all. <laughs> because why? I am the called and chosen of God. You know what I'm called and chosen to do? Love no matter what. That's right. And preach the gospel. And if, if you're in loving no matter what, you are not disregarding something. Mm -hmm. You're praying through something. And you know, each one of us has been called to the very same thing, <laughs> to walk in love. We're supposed to do the same things that Jesus did. He said, the, the works that I did, you're going to do an even greater work. So he said, what did he do? He preached, he taught, and he healed. 
What are we supposed to do? Preach, teach, and heal. And then he will work with and confirm our words with signs and wonders following because our words will be his words. Amen? Amen. I, I, uh, words of faith. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to tell Brother Copeland this on TV. I said, I said on, on, on phone, I said, Brother Copeland, Satan has just cost himself the biggest payday in the world. If the if. believers will believe it. If we'll make him pay. Yeah, if you got stolen from him, how about seven bowls? That's right. You know, I've learned about seven bowls. You know what seven bowls is? It'll make him stop stealing <laughs> from you. That's right. He's not an idiot. He ain't going to give you what he got. He, he is, wants he to is. what? Steal it from you. He can't have it. He'll none. steal it as great as he can. The first way he steals, well, he convinces us not to tithe. He steals the word out of our heart. Yeah. Just say again. He steals the word out of our heart. The biggest payday Satan will ever has right now. Seven bold. You know, I made my mind up. He ain't. He ain't stealing from me. And every time he steals something new, where does he steal from me? Tied and offered. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. And we you make know, him pay. I want to tell the, uh, the, the uh, internet, don't stay out of church because you ain't got no money. Man, tithe means one penny on what? A dollar. Well, I just can't see myself doing that. Ten cents on it. Do it because God said so. <laughs> Don't try and take care of my salary. I'm already, I'm already, I'm okay. God took care of me when? 42 years ago. And I happened to take care of three kids. And now a bunch of grandkids and a bunch of great grandkids. I, want, I said bunch, but you know. Now, I have got everything in the world coming back to me. Well, what about this and see that and what about this and see that? Stop it! Now, I mean, Holly knows we pay all our bills Amen. and she's just like I am. How should I pay it? By faith. That's right. Jesus bore you what? Sin, sickness, and disease. How? By faith. What's your mouth saying? Are you concentrating on the disease or what he said? If I had to come here every Sunday and preach the word, I'd do just as God told me to do it. But let me help everybody. Everybody, that's this. I do it because I love God. I'm not trying to preach your favorite message. <laughs> I've learned a long time ago that that, that don't work because you don't know what your favorite stuff is anyway <laughs> until what God tells you. Well, I need a job. You already got one. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm not working. That's your problem, not God. You already got your job. See, what you got to do is start calling things that be not as though they what? Were. Because they Were is past are. tense. How about your healing? Well, I know it, but I mean, here's some, next thing you know, somebody will attack me again. Stop it. Man, as long as you're born again, you're going <laughs> to get attacks. Affliction and persecution all the time. But no. If you can't live above it, you live in it. That's awesome. Go yeah, ahead. because we've been, uh, we, we know that. Yeah. We know that we live in a fallen world. We know that there is a, a there is a, a devil, and he comes to do three things: steal, kill, and destroy. He doesn't take a day off. He doesn't take a nap. He's always working. That's why we better stay built up on our most holy faith. We better stay under the blood of Jesus. If you'll do one thing. Take seven bowl right now. Yeah. Do it. And drop him from your payday. He must pay. He must. 
God don't say, okay, now, Satan, let me ask you a question. Do you want to pay or don't you? See, he must pay. Now, where are you financially? And people just accuse me of all time. Accuse on, brother. I'm all right. I'll be okay. See, until you finally realize he already took care of all that. The only thing he told us to do is what? Give. And it, it what's it? Yeah. It shall. Need. What is it? Whatever you need. What do you want? <laughs> you know, I got one thing I got to do before we quit. I, wanna, I want people to come to church. Don't stay away because of fear. I'm not saying this. If you don't know the difference between fear and wisdom, <laughs> man, ask God. I mean, I'm in the parking lot. I mean, I love them. They came in where they could. Yep. And thank God for that. You came inside. Don't walk outside dusting yourself off or worrying about your hand or something like that. Do what God tells you to do. Right. If God tells you to put that cleanser on your hands, man, <laughs> who am I? If God tells you to wear four masks, who am I? I am a minister of the gospel. But you are an individual born again. Yeah. If you don't hear God's voice, what voice are you listening to? <laughs> My voice says what? He's got more than enough. We are to be led by the Spirit of God. Okay, last one. Hebrews 3.18. I got a bunch more, but I ain't going to do it. Hebrews 3.18. And to whom swore he that they should not enter his rest? Enter his what? His rest. His what? His rest. What in the world is his rest? His relaxation. <laughs> Relax. Rest. Confidence. But the, to Man, them. some of you guys are working every day of the week just to take care of yourself. Relax. <laughs> You must what? Enter in. How? By faith, brother. That's right. Because those that didn't enter in, didn't enter in because they didn't believe. So if you believe, how many in here believe God can take care of you? I believe God will take care of me. Then start saying it out your mouth. Thank you, Lord. Establish the word, what? Seed, time, and harvest. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do that. I got this. Fear, fear. Not me. Cast it out. out. Oh, I got no scripture. Can you? Okay. First uh, Corinthians ten five. I like the ones that already know all this, so they don't even have to look it up. First Corinthians ten five. I'm, I'm sorry. Be out ten times, but with me of them. Oh, well, no. It's a second Corinthians ten five. Forgive me, but I'm perfect. So, <laughs> how much heat you gonna take for that? A bunch. I'm perfect in Him. Do you got any mistakes, man? You got the same mistakes I got. If you What's it say? Casting down what? Imagination. What are you imagining? Is it from God or Satan? Casting down what? Imagination. And every what? High thing. There's a master spirit right there, high thing. If you're imagining stupid stuff, cast the high thing down. Yeah. Say, how do you cast them down? You, you say, high thing, come down. Say it. High, high thing, thing, come down. In what? Jesus' name. name. If you don't use Jesus' name, you ain't there yet. Watch what he says. Every high thing that does what? Exalts itself against the knowledge now, the of God. Now, the moment I'm done today, he's going to do what? Exalt himself against what? The knowledge of God. The knowledge. If you got any. I got it. I've learned about this about a long time ago. You know, people who don't need knowledge... Are in heaven or hell? 
You know, when there's one thing that God does. He gives you understanding. But you got to believe him first. I mean, I never will, never will, as long as I quit, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll quit. I never will forget this as long as I live. I die, and next thing I know, I'm in front of Jesus. Now, I've learned over the years, <laughs> some people believe it. Ah, some they lie down. Well, you know, if it wasn't true with me, why do I keep bringing it up? Because I've not been given the spirit of fear or lies. So I'm standing in front of Jesus. The first thing I say is, okay, now what are you doing here? Now, if you want to understand ignorance, man has an ignorance in front of Jesus. And he said, well, no, let's ask you a question. What are you doing here? You know what's the problem with so many people? They work in themselves to death. Trying to get something they already got. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus already gave to you. Everything. All things yeah. that pertain to this life and the life of God. Can I say this in, in all due respect? Let death die. Let it die. Quit bringing up death. Just say it died. I walked out of that grave. How about you? Are you a covenant child of the Most High God? See, if we're covenant children, then we know that Jesus did everything he did in order to provide for us. What do you do as a parent? How many sacrifices have you made to make sure that your children had before you did? Listen, our Heavenly Father is no different. He is faithful. Amen? So this morning, if you brought your tithe and your offering, glory to God. You can do so by Venmo, by Cash App, by PayPal, or by check, or by cash, however you want to do it. Amen. Father, this morning, we present our tithe and our offerings. And Father, we just want to thank you that you are a covenant-keeping God. You said that you would provide all things. You would give us all things that pertain to this life as well as the life of godliness. And, Lord, we believe we receive. We want to thank you as we present our tithe. We want to thank you for receiving it. We want to thank you that the windows of heaven are open over us, pouring us out empowerments to prosper that we don't even have room to contain. Thank you, Lord, that the devourer is rebuked for our sake. Thank you, Lord, that we abide under the shadow of the Most High, that place where no foe can withstand us. And for that, we just give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen? You may receive. Well, today, I want to do some, we're going to do something really unusual, but we're going to give. Amelia Flemister, you know, was hit head on. Uh, she was turning into the bank, and am I right? wherever she was turning in somewhere and somebody who was under the influence hit her head on. And so she's had, she's been in the hospital all this time, but this weekend they moved her right up here to, to life care. And, um, so I would, I'm going to ask all of you all who can, if you can drive up here to, um, the life care and we're going to do an, uh, a virtual visit through the window. I've had to do that with my new grandbaby. I said, oh, that's been so tough. <laughs> Say hi, little Tegan. I, your Nene and Poppy love you. We kissed the door <laughs> instead of kissing her. But, you know, listen, if there's ever a time she's been, she's been without her family this whole time, they finally got to go see her. I think somebody let her let them see her from a distance the other day. But um, and they went over to the life care center as soon as she got finished, and they could see her through the window. But listen, do you know how important the touch is? Do you know how important, like, like Holly said, divided we fall, united we stand. And for those who have been isolated during this time, depression is such a big deal. And for somebody who needs healing, 
they need to know that they are loved and they are wanted and they are pursued. Amen. So we're going to drive over there and pursue her. It won't take five minutes. Just go over there and say, hey, River of Life loves you, Amelia. Amen. So uh, we'll have a caravan that will go over there. You know where it is. It's just right up here by the map coast. So that's exciting. Anyway, Father, I want to thank you that you made us the head. Not the tail. You made us above only, never beneath. I want to thank you that you've given us power over all the works of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm us. Nothing shall by any means harm us. Nothing shall by any means harm us. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the angels of the Lord that are encamped round about us to protect and to keep us until we meet again in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, tonight we will have intercessory prayer online, okay? You want to roll the announcements, please, sir? I think you have some, right? Yes? Hello to those of you who are new to the river. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us. If you'd like to learn more about us, feel free to get with one of our elders after the service. We'd love to talk to you. If you're new to our online community, let us know in the comments and give us a share. Then visit our website. That's where you can get the latest information, submit prayer requests, watch live, and give safely and securely. That's all at rolc.org. We work hard to ensure the safety of all of our members and guests, which is why you'll notice some changes. First, when you enter the building, there will be a bottle of hand sanitizer in the lobby and in various places throughout the building. Second, adhering to the social distancing guidelines by finding new ways to show our love to our fellow lifers. Third, ensuring that we have a professional live broadcast on the internet and by other means, for those who decide not to attend in-person services, because this is the time more than ever to be saturated in the word and be in the corporate anointing. If you need help getting to our online services or would like to have DVDs or CDs made, let us know immediately so our media team can take care of you. But most importantly, it's up to you to help us all do our part by remembering these simple new ways that we can abide and thrive. To learn more about these guidelines specifically, you can visit your state's website. And if you live in the immediate area, those websites are at the bottom of your screen and will give you the best and latest information available. We're finishing up The Great Exchange, a Bible study of the Blood Covenant with Pastor Terry. That's Wednesdays live on Facebook at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like to catch up on that series, it's been made available on our website. Just click The Great Exchange series in the latest announcements tab. JFest has been rescheduled to Saturday, August 1st, and we're so excited to be a part and can't wait to see all of the great artists. If you're interested in volunteering or would like more information, please let me know after service. To find out more, visit our website and click JFest 2020. Join Pastor Terry at 9 p.m. for corporate prayer at home each night other than Sundays and Wednesdays on Facebook Live and our website. Just click Watch Live. Don't forget to talk to Willie or Lynn Gaston about the Effective Gospel Outreach Ministries and find out how you can be a part of the new ways we're reaching our community beyond the four walls. To find out more, visit our website. That's ROL Live. Don't forget, you can join us for services at any of our three locations. The Waters Church in Trenton, Georgia, River of Life Lafayette, Georgia, and right here at River of Life Church Chattanooga. To find out more, visit our website. That's rolc.org. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notifications each time we post a new video. Oh, well, thank you. I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> I said I'm learning all this techie stuff. Well, I release you in the name of Jesus, and whoever wants to go with us, I uh, hope Jackie didn't leave us. So, did Jackie leave us? Because she's going to... God, she's going to guide us. But anyway, if not, you can go with me. I kind of know where it is. Amen.